Welcome to Daily Rosary Meditations with Dr. Mike Scherslick, where you learn how to meditate and establish a daily habit of prayer while discovering the truths of the Catholic faith. Is there someone you know that could benefit from daily prayer? Share this meditation with them. Welcome to our Daily Rosary Meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Today is one of my favorite feasts, the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. So eight days after we celebrate her assumption into heaven, we celebrate the fifth glorious mystery, Our Lady's coronation as queen. For she is the queen of heaven and earth. But when we look around, It seems more like people are living in open rebellion against Christ, our King, and Mary, our Queen. But we should not despair, because at Fatima in 1917, Mary promised that in the end, her Immaculate Heart would triumph, and there would be an era of peace. And peace comes when most people do the will of God. Well, We are a long way from that, at least right now, because the world is addicted to sin, and addicts normally won't change as long as they think they are still in control, that they can manage their lives as they are. So, the world will probably have to grow more and more out of control as we head to rock bottom, fall away from the faith, and become further immersed in the addiction of sin. But in her approved apparitions, Mary, as well as many saints and mystics, have already warned us of this, that there will be a minor apostasy, a falling away from the faith, which we are, I should say, have been experiencing now since the early 60s throughout Europe, North and South America. This will be followed by a worldwide purification of which Our Lady also warned us about at Akita, Japan, Cabejo, Rwanda, and San Nicolas, Argentina, that if we do not repent and convert, this will happen. Still, there is the greatest reason for hope, because this worldwide purification will bring the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the era of peace promised at Fatima, as well as the new evangelization and the civilization of love predicted by John Paul II. So, this would place us in the period just before the worldwide purification and the re-evangelization of the entire world, not the end of the world. Now, we can often look back at history and think of our own time as boring by comparison, But I promise you, this is truly the most exciting time to be a Christian. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now I fully expect to live in the fulfillment of the promise of Our Lady of Fatima, and the triumph of her immaculate heart. This is what gives me confidence. Toward the end of his life, St. Louis de Montfort gave an astonishing prophecy. He said that toward the end of this age, this time period in world history, the cosmic battle depicted in the book of Revelation between Mary who is the woman clothed with the sun and the great red dragon, Satan, this battle will be openly manifest and Our Lady will triumph through her children. Monfort wrote, In these latter times, Mary must shine forth more than ever in mercy, power, and grace. In mercy, to bring back and welcome lovingly the poor sinners and wanderers who are to be converted and returned to the Catholic Church in power to combat the enemies of God who will rise up menacingly to seduce and crush by promises of threats all those who oppose them. And finally, she must shine forth in grace to inspire and support the valiant soldiers and loyal servants of Jesus Christ who are fighting for his cause. As Scripture states, Mary must become as terrible as an army in battle array to the devil and his followers. And thus the most fearful enemy that God has set up against the devil is Mary, his most holy mother. But Mary's power over the evil spirits will especially shine forth in the latter times when Satan will lie in wait for her heel, that is, for her poor children whom she will rouse to fight against him. And in union with Mary, they will crush the head of Satan by their humility and bring victory to Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Since 1965, Mary has appeared in approved apparitions in a greater proportion than at any time in Christian history. And why? Because she's calling you and I to get into the game, to step on to the battlefield and do our part. And how are we to fight? We should imitate Jesus. The first thing he did to defeat Satan was to give or consecrate himself to Mary to be her little child. And he lived like that for 30 years. Only two and a half years of public ministry and one day of suffering. 30 years living in intimate union with Mary. So that's what we must do. We must consecrate ourselves entirely to Mary to be her little son or daughter, depending entirely upon her, like Jesus. But we can't stop with the consecration. We have to actually live it. And that's what St. Louis de Montfort teaches in his little book called The Secret of Mary. The secret of Mary is to live the consecration, to live a personal relationship with Mary, moment to moment, day after day. So each day, renew your consecration with Mary. All you have to simply say is, Mary, I am all yours. And then cultivate an awareness of her presence at all times. Every time you see an image of Our Lady, let it remind you that she is with you. And then talk with her, ask her what to do, and wait for her inspirations, and then follow them, put them into practice, because you are her little child, learning to walk and live in her presence. Ask Our Lady to replace your thoughts with her thoughts, your feelings with her feelings, and your choices with her choices. And by living in complete dependence on Mary, we live in complete dependence upon the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit carries out His mission through her. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The rosary is the weapon Our Lady gives us to use in the spiritual battle. In the approved apparition of Our Lady at Akita, Japan in 1973, she said, Pray very much the prayers of the rosary. I alone am able to still save you from the calamities which approach, and those who place their confidence in me will be saved. The Rosary is the spiritual weapon to defeat Satan and the powers of darkness by breaking their hold on souls because the Holy Spirit and Mary work to do three things through the Rosary. They reveal Jesus to the soul chained to sin and dwelling in darkness, and they open that soul to receive Jesus, and they form Jesus in that soul. We forget the great power of intercessory prayer. Remember the guy who was paralyzed and couldn't carry himself to Jesus? So four of his friends picked him up and broke through the roof of Peter's house and lowered him down. That guy couldn't do anything for himself, but his four friends carried him. It's a sign of prayer. We all have people who seem paralyzed in sin and the darkness of a lack of faith. And they're not going to do anything for themselves. But we can carry them to Jesus by our rosary. So never, ever, ever pray a rosary without offering it for one of your loved ones or friends who need conversion. Right now, think of one person or as many as you like, that you will offer this decade and this rosary for. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for 
for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, <laughs> Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third secret of Fatima. The children were given a vision of what could happen in the world if we don't turn back to God. In this vision, the children saw an angel with a flaming sword ready to strike the earth. But Our Lady withstood him and her presence prevented the angel from bringing about the destructive blow. Then the angel turned and pointed to the earth and said three times, penance, 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 which indicated that if we want to save the world from self-destruction, those of Our Lady's children who are listening, and that means you, we need to offer penance. And by penance, we mean this. What you did not choose, do not like, and cannot change. We accept it with trust, and we offer it with love to God in reparation and for the conversion of sinners. So today, I woke up with a really nasty cold, and I feel rotten. So what am I going to do? I'm going to spend most of the day complaining about it. No, I'm going to accept it and offer it up in reparation and for the conversion of sinners to bring about the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. And if you feel rotten today, I hope you'll do the same. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God we rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Since it's obvious we are deeply in the midst of this spiritual battle, I want to invite you to do all you can for the spiritual good of others. One of our main missions with the School of Faith is to help people take on the habit of daily meditation and a deeper spiritual life. But every person needs a spiritual director, a spiritual mentor, a coach, at the very least a parent or a friend who can teach them how to pray and help them. That can be you. Maybe you're a mom or a dad with kids at home. Do you want them to have a deep spiritual life? then let us train you to be a spiritual mentor. Maybe you've become an empty nester and you're wondering what the next stage in your life is. Become a spiritual mentor. Maybe you have found success in your profession or you've sold your business and you're moving on to the next stage and you have a great desire to contribute the greatest good to the world. Become a spiritual mentor. There's nothing greater than you can that you can do and help another person grow spiritually. And that's precisely what we do. We train people to do this. So ask God, do you want me to help others spiritually? And then go to our website, schooloffaith.com, click on the spiritual mentoring program, fill out an application and join us this March, 2024 for our next cohort. And this is a great way to be an apostle of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.